Welcome to the University of Toronto's Year 4 demonstration. My name is Frank, and I'll be the host today. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we're not able to travel to the US and compete with the rest of the teams. We hope that with this demo, we can illustrate as well as discuss some of our strategies and lessons learned. Today, we'll showcase two main demos, the BOR challenge demo, as well as the level four GPS denied demo. Due to the limited persons allowed to be on site and the amount of camera coverage we can provide simultaneously, we filmed the demo in multiple segments. In the BOR challenge, our vehicle will start from the entrance of the test track and then navigate to two different destinations to perform pickup and drop off. During this challenge, the vehicle will encounter traffic signage, deer, pedestrian, roadblock, and traffic lights. First, let's take a closer look at our test track setup. Let's have Amy, our test engineer, to showcase our test plan for the BOR challenge. Thank you, Frank. In this segment, our vehicle will drive through multiple speed signs along curved road. Upon arriving at our first destination, our vehicle will pick up its first passenger and also a deer will cross the road. In this segment, our vehicle will encounter a yield sign and also have to handle a pedestrian crossing at an uncontrolled crossing. At this intersection, our vehicle will make a detour along the construction zone 
and stop for the stop sign at the end of the road. one-way test track and our vehicle will encounter a four-way intersection and we'll stop when the light turns red and we'll cross when the light turns green. We have our team lead here for the Year Forge competition, Joe, here with us. So, Joe, throughout this year's whole management, uh, what would you say one of uh, the most challenging um, things that you encounter? Yeah, so for this year's competition, we were required to navigate without GPS. Uh, as you know, most of components of our car requires precise local global localization to perform properly. Uh, localizing to a Accuracy of 10 centimeters with just the onboarding sensor is actually a very difficult task. Uh, in the past year, we tried different methods uh, from LiDAR, LiDAR odometry, LiDAR localization, LiDAR slam to semantic localization. Um, currently, we believe our LiDAR localization and semantic localization perform the best because they all rely on existing reference map, uh, which eliminates po uh, possible drifts. Yeah, so I think our next demo is actually the GPS denied localization and uh, navigation. So let's take a look at how our vehicle software stack performs.
And that concludes this year's demo. We would like to appreciate everyone else here to help make this demo happen, as well as our whole team to make all the improvement and achievement working remotely. We hope to see everyone in person next year. And at the end of the video, we have a few other demo and fun clips that we accumulated throughout this year's testing campaign. Hope you enjoy it. Chances. Along with my dreams, I've got them all packed up in my fantasy limousine. With miles and miles of road ahead, I'm going far away to my fantasy land. With a tick tock clock to remind me the time is right, I go through everything with a smile and taking every chance that the world can give. Going far. The world is mine